Well, hey there everyone. Today I am going to be playing with some alcohol inks on Yupu Yupu <laughs> Yupo paper. And then I'll show you a few tips and tricks and this will be the completed card when we're all done with that. And then for my second project, I'm going to play with some fire. I know, use caution, but hang with me. Here we go. All right, let's start with the first project. This is some Yupo paper on white. They also have a translucent Yupo paper and they might have a black one by now. And I'm going in and adding some black and gold and white. What is in that dropper is some isopropyl alcohol that you can get from Target, Walmart, pharmacy, grocery stores, anywhere you can get it, dollar store probably. And that's what I'm using to kind of move the alcohol ink around. I'm using a combination of Bria Reese and Jacquard alcohol inks. I'll be sure to link them in the description. That dropper is filled with isopropyl alcohol. That little bowl you see up in the top left-hand corner has the isopropyl alcohol in it. And I also filled a Mr. Bottle with isopropyl alcohol. You do not want to spray any alcohol ink blending solution in it because it contains something in the mixture that is not good to be airborne, but isopropyl alcohol is okay. I do also want to say anytime you are using alcohol ink, open some windows, get in a well-ventilated area, or you're going to get sick because it stinks. It's alcohol, right? So I'm going in with just, again, adding some pink, and I'll just drop in colors. And what you don't see is I bend down and I blow. Uh, just to kind of push that alcohol ink around. My big frizzy head kept getting in the way, so I had to do some creative cropping here. But I'm blowing it around. You can use a straw, which I should have done, but I probably didn't want to walk the five feet to the kitchen to get one. Anything to kind of push the alcohol ink around a little bit and dropping in those different colors, the pink and a little bit of the teal on the outside, really left some cool and fun results. So I love working with alcohol inks because it's always going to be custom. You will create custom art every time because you will never be able to replicate the same thing twice, right? So when you go and you show your friends, you'd be like, this is a custom piece made just for you. And it's true because you're never going to be able to make it again. <laughs> Let's get on to the fire. Now, you're going to want to use extreme caution and safety precautions also, you know, obviously, because we're going to be working with fire. And you absolutely don't have to work with fire at all. I just do it because I think it's fun. I don't know why I'm crazy. But uh, anyway, so the, the fire is going to react to the isopropyl alcohol. So this is a little dish I got at like a Goodwill for 99 cents. And I'm just dropping in some random colors here. I don't even know if they're going to work together. I'm just having a good old time here. And just dropping some colors in. And then I will mix everything with the isopropyl alcohol. And this is filled, this is the Mr. Bottle that's filled with the isopropyl alcohol. So I've sprayed it. So there's a lot of alcohol in there. Now the fire is going to react to the isopropyl alcohol. So keep that in mind. Use precautions or simply just don't use fire at all and just laugh at me why I do this. I have extreme caution. There's nobody near me. I'm being very careful. Uh, and I like the addition of the fire because it creates these beautiful like veins in the alcohol ink. But again, you don't have to use it. So here I am lighting and all the bowl is, I mean, all the alcohol is inside that bowl. So therefore the fire is going to be contained inside that bowl until it kind of flames out. And then you get these beautiful dark uh, veins, if you will. I don't know any other way to put them. Veins. We're just going to call them veins. So uh, you don't have to use fire and you're going to get beautiful results as well. I knew at this moment that I was going to want to add some gilding flakes. So also by using the fire, when it burns up and it leaves those veins behind, the veins of the color are actually a little bit sticky. So therefore, I was able to get the gilding flakes to stick to it very easily. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. I'm still messing around. Uh, sometimes you got to know when to quit. You know, sometimes you don't. I'm just like continuing to go over and go over and go over. Now, with alcohol ink, it's also very forgiving because if you don't like what you do, you can just wipe it clean with an alcohol wipe and start all over. But for me, I'm just piling alcohol on top of alcohol and lighting it on fire. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm going in just with the heat tool to try to just make sure everything's nice and blended. And then I went and grabbed some gilding flakes. Do not sneeze. Do not breathe. Hold your breath. Do not have a fan nearby because this stuff goes everywhere. Now, again, because I use the fire, there is some sticky parts to that alcohol ink. So I'm able to press the gilding flakes right into my little dish here and it's going to stick. So I'm just uh, 
Oh, by the way, I always put gloves on when I'm using alcohol ink because I don't want that stuff all over my hands. So I'm pressing it in there. I'm using this little sweeper thing from Nuvo to remove any of the excess gilding flakes, which is now all over my desk, all over the floor. It's everywhere. I kept my dust buster on standby uh, so I could suck up all the excess of the gilding flakes that went everywhere. But look, I'm still messing with the alcohol ink. I mean, really, Laurel, you got to let it go, babe. Let it go. Let it go. Uh, but anyway, apparently I wanted some purple and some white and whatever. So learn when to quit, right? But look at this. I think this is so stinking cool. Now I have this cute little dish for whatever. I'll put my jewelry in it. I'll leave it out for home decor. Whatever. I don't know. But I think it's neat. So there you go. Two alcohol ink projects. Both are fun. And, and you just have to be able to let yourself go. Just let it go, be free. To seal my alcohol ink projects, I always use this Krylon matte finish uh, on any alcohol ink projects I do. It creates a, a it basically seals it off. It's not going to come off. It actually is weatherproof because I've actually left some of my pieces out in the rain before and uh, they were safe and secure right? That stuff is some good stuff. So everything I've used is linked below in the description. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Happy to answer. If you want to see anything else uh, with alcohol inks, let me know. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.